Eternity later. Okay, the first question is Have you ever have you ever been in a car crash and was it your fault? I've actually, by God's grace, I've actually never been in a car crash, guys. Ever. And I've like for all my life I've been driving with reckless drivers. But it's not like my any of my family members, but my friends, guys. My guy friends are just need for speed, need for speed, you understand? So, by the grace of God, I've never really been in a car crash, but, yeah, I almost, just almost, you know? So, yeah, the second question is, would you rather have endless money or endless love? This one, I mean, guys, in Syria, Roma causes economy. I choose money over that any day, like, guys, any, any day because I feel like in our society, we can also buy love and understand. Like, when you have money, automatically people love you compared to when you're broke, you understand. So, personally. I'd rather have endless man, like any day, especially in this economy. I'm not begging that. I mean, my love of my life for 15 or 20 years I had to come to me and say, Will you marry me? And someone offers me a million rand and says to me, I'll give you this million if you don't marry this guy. Best believe, guys, even if it's just 100k, best believe. I ain't gonna marry that guy. Like, that's just me, you know? Other people see it different, but personally, I choose money any day. The next one is, what is your frequently used emoji? <laughs> ah, guys, frequently used emoji, to be honest, I like the eggplant emoji. I use it all the time. For no particular reason, and I also like the pregnancy emoji. I use it all the time. For no particular reason, like I just love the pregnancy emoji. Like I'm just a weird person, honestly, you know. So emojis that are not normal is something that I'll use frequently, you know. So yeah. Next question. When was the last thing you stole or shoplifted? This question. Yeah, yeah. But to be honest, I haven't stolen in a while. See, I'm I'm God's I'm God's child. What well, actually no? <laughs> On that note, maybe not right. I feel like the last thing I saw was alcohol. Period. 
And I still like so what's the beverages? I don't even feel guilty about it. I was feeling it, even to me. If I see it, I'm going to, to join charity. Especially if it's bottles that I can't buy for myself. I don't have the right thing to steal, but heck, we will have that one thing to do bad. Stealing alcohol is my one thing that I do bad. So, um, do my need bad and my need more bad. I don't know why I just said that. Yeah. Guys. Um. Our plate, plate, platonic, is it platonic? Are platonic relationships or romantic relationships more important to you? Firstly, I don't know what platonic relationships are, but romantic relationships are sort of important to me. I mean, it's not a priority, you know. Like I said in the previous question, I would choose money over love any day, you know. But I appreciate her, man. You know, I've been single for now what, 10 months, 11 months, so not that important to me, but I really love to be in like a romantic relationship. Next question is, you, would you want to live in another time period? Yes, I want to live in the future. If I had to choose a superpower, it's immortality, because I feel like the more time goes and the more like you are in the future, the more things you you have the opportunity to do, you know. Back in the 80s, you didn't have like cell phones and all that. Couldn't call their friends. It was the 80s. But yeah, they couldn't call their friends. So now they are able to call their friends and start around any time, you know. So imagine in the future how it's gonna be. You understand? I'd really like to see the future, like honestly. I'd really like to see the future. I mean, hmm. yeah, these questions, they are for the locals, guys. Okay, I like this one, actually. Would you rather have someone always tell you the truth or protect your feelings? Good. I would rather have someone tell me the truth, honestly. And that's only because I feel like you learn from the truth, you grow from the truth. You understand? Like, imagine having a friend, maybe there's that kind of situation, you guys always go out together, and then you are too loud. Like, and thing is not just loud because of being loud, but loud because you get overly excited and you see people or whatever. Yes, it might be a personality, but I would appreciate my friend telling me that, you know, my friend, a lot of people don't really like to be around you because of you act a certain way. Then for her to be like, oh, no, you're fine. Like, be you and all that, you know. At the end of the day, people don't want to be around you. People don't invite you to certain things because of that. Whereas my friend could have told me that. You get me. So I prefer people that just tell me the truth. Like, even with outfits, like, if I'm not looking nice, don't be that. Like, guys, story, mini story time. I used to have a friend, man. Like, I don't know what was wrong with that girl. Like, she just... I feel like she's just someone that used to like comparing herself to me or being better than me. Like, guys, this girl would let me go out with like hair that's not brushed at the back or like an outfit that's like grotesque, you know, really, really ugly, you know. Like, all the time, she would, she would never tell me the truth. Like, even if maybe her friend say, tell your friend to take her skirt down, she would never tell me. Ever, she would never tell me. And so maybe one of her friends would be like, dude, please take your script down. Like, I'd be, most times when I go with her, I'd be so embarrassed. And I was always honest with her office. Like, no, I don't think that's like, mm, that's um, appropriate for that event. I don't think this. But she would just let me go out like that, you know. So I hated that. And that's a part of the reason why I ended our friendship. Because she was just never really honest with me. And that's, that's just fucked up. So, yeah. Next question is... If you have to be trapped on a desert or island with one friend, who would you choose? Trapped on an island with one friend. I love my friend's name, but I'm a girl of this other guy. His name is Matt. He's like a really good friend of mine. I'd rather be trapped on an island with him. Like, he's very funny. You know, he keeps me entertained. Keeps me motivated. Like, he's just that type of a gent, you know. So, I'd choose him. I'd choose him. Any day. 
even my friends, if they're gonna watch this video, they won't feel bad or anything because they know that possibilities were I was going to choose him, so yes, I did choose him. Right. And then the next question says, if you could only text or Snapchat people for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? Text or Snapchat? I Snapchat. Me, I like filters, guys. <laughs> I love filters guys, I can't live without filters, like, it's not even a matter of not being confident or whatever, when I take a picture, it has to have a filter, like, that's the only thing that's going to make me happy, so since Snapchat has filters, and plus, you can text on Snapchat, I'll choose Snapchat, best of both worlds, filters, pictures, plus, you can text, if it's just the text, then, boring, the next thing is, would you prefer to work night shift or work alone for eternity i work alone i'm scared of the dark guys working night shift like that's one thing i won't do work night shift no mm -mm. unless i'm working from home but no imagine working at night guys at mcdonald's maybe it's like a 24 hour like drive i feel like they are my from midnight to three o'clock in the morning 3 a.m in the morning going to be seeing shady people and shady stuff like i don't want that guys like the dark just scares me G. like even being outside, if we add group, most times, like, let's say we're waiting for the Uber, I'd rather wait for the Uber inside, and then when it arrives, we walk outside. Like, I'm not those type of people that will stand in the streets and go, oh, traumatic, never. If you could, if you could start college all over again, what would you do differently? If you guys watch my story time, I have a story time here about the time when I was in UG. What I would do differently is focus. I'll just focus on what I came there for. And yeah, I'll study hard, guys. You know, one thing that I've learned, and I always tell my brother this, is that when you're in school, you just feel like school is the worst thing ever. You want to work hard, you're lazy to study. But you don't realize that it only takes how many years of school? Let's see. Grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, grade 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, like 7 years, right? Then if you have to go to varsity, it's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, right? It's 11. So it's only 11 years of hard work and study. So that you can be the best thing in the world for the rest of your life. Like, imagine, if you're studying matric, you sabotage your varsity life. Because if you don't get good marks for your varsity, for your matric, in varsity, they won't take you for good things. Like, you'll just get, like, Courses that are not even like courses that you don't even want, you understand. And then if you sabotage varsity, you won't get the job that you want. And possibilities are there, there are no jobs in South Africa, so you won't get a job at all. Because if someone had to come to me, two different degrees this one is be 90% on this degree, the other one is 40% on this degree. Who do you think I'm gonna take? Let's be honest, guys. Let's let's just think about this very clearly because sometimes we sabotage our lives in jail for nothing. So yeah. What what's one secret you are keeping from your mom? I keep all secrets. Me, I'm a very secret guys, I'm a Scorpio. I'm very, very secretive. Very secretive. I feel like I'm not secretive. I just don't like to publicize my feelings, you know. And even though my mom is like my mom, but I'm just like that. Like anybody that knows me knows that I will never tell you the whole truth. Even if you see that small little truth that I tell you, I'm very lucky because of I'm just one person. I can't really publicize my feelings. You understand? Even if I'm really hurt, I'd be like, nah, I'm fine. You get me? Even if like I did something wrong, I'd rather fix it by myself and then just make you see the good side. You know? If I break something, I won't tell you. I'll keep it a secret until I'm able to fix it. You get me? The only time I'll tell you the truth is maybe if you see it before I could fix it. Does that make sense? I think it does. Hello. The next question, question is, who is your hero? Spider-Man. 
I like um what are you saying? Spider Man's my favorite. I'm joking guys. I feel like right now, like this particular time in my life, my hero is my aunt. Because like she actually got me. See when a person got you, got you, she got me, got me, you know. So yeah, that's my hero. I'm not really gonna say much about it, but she got me. So yeah, the next question is if you could live anywhere, where would it be? Listen, listen to me and listen clearly. I beg. Me, I live in Dubai, guys. Like, yo, see Dubai. Like, Dubai is just another planet on its own. Or, like, if it's not Dubai, I can't know what they call this stuff. I forgot it. The Maldives. Like, I like places like that, you know. On a regular day, you must just see someone driving and putting up in a Lamborghini, you know, and that's like an average person if they have like one Lamborghini, you know. So for me, I've lived in Dubai or the Maldives, period. What is your biggest fear? That's the next question. I have a lot of biggest fears, guys. One, I'm scared of the dark, for sure. Like, I can't... Okay, I'm not really afraid of the dark, but during no chilling, you won't find me walking around, wondering, no, don't know, not knowing where I'm going or what I'm doing. Never been. Number two is heights. Listen, see with heights, man, doesn't matter how much someone can offer me. Like, honestly, if they say go bungee jumping for this amount of money, take your money and go. It's fine. I'll be poor for the rest of my life. It's fine. I will, guys. Yo. <laughs> like, this, you know, there's a bridge, man. It was, like, where I used to live, right? There was a bridge. So, under the bridge is, like, a river. And the bridge is not really that high. It's probably, like, this high. Yeah. See, from here to, to the floor. It's not really that high, you know? Under the, under the bridge, there's water. That bridge, it's, like, it's, they made it with... with it's not wood, it's concrete, but the concrete has gaps, so it's like one piece of concrete, a little gap, one piece of concrete, and a little gap. So basically, through those little gaps, you can see the river. You understand? Yo, that bridge, this thing, I crossed it once, and that one time, I was, I don't know if I was flushed or high or what was happening, but listen, I was afraid of that bridge. Like, I could never, ever pass that bridge willingly. Like, it was just always a struggle. And like, it, it wasn't really that bad, you know, but because I'm like, guys, if you're afraid of something, there's nothing anyone can do. Like, I'm not going to let it to you. Like, no matter what, like, hence I'm saying, even if someone came to me and offered me a million to go bungee jumping, sorry, never. Next question. What makes you angry? Yo, a lot of things. <laughs> Number one, people that don't listen to me, it, it pisses me off because I feel like <clears throat> I'm a very considerate person. You understand yes i have my mistakes but if you're gonna deliberately do the opposite of what i asked then pisses me off number two is people that are very selfish you understand like i'm very selfless i always put people first you understand so if you're gonna be selfish to a person that's selfless that pisses me off like immediately i keep you at a distance people that like to be superior, you understand? And I'm not talking about like rich people, a rich person pulling up with a fancy coat and then, you know, making you feel small. No, I'm talking about people that will always say, oh, now nah, I do this better, now nah, I do that better, now nah, I do this, forgetting that there's someone that's better than you. If you are going to be pointing out the good things that you are doing just because you are seeing me a peasant, like people like that irritate the shit out of me. People that... <laughs> People, I, you see those, the, the superior ones, they that feel like they are above all. Those ones piss me off the most. The moment you have that attitude, babes, I'm cutting you off. Like, I would rather be with a liar than a person that does that. Because that's really insanely irritating. So, yeah. The, the next question. Oh, guys, there's so many questions. I'm sure this video is going to be 17 minutes. The next question is. What makes you laugh the most? Jokes. 
I don't know, like people that are just stupid and I don't mean that in a bad way. When I say people that are stupid, it's those type of people that just make jokes out of everything. I'm also that type of a person. I'm a brave, goofy and stupid person. Like anything and everything, like dude, we could be in the most serious situation and listen, I will take us emotionally and mentally, I'll take you out of that situation because I will make you laugh. Like I will just I'll just make you laugh. You know? Like just goofy people. I'm not those people that watch cat videos and then laugh. Not that there's anything wrong, but you need, you need to be really goofy to make me laugh, actually, because I'm the goofy one. So I don't want to be beaten, you know? So, yeah. The next question is Ish, my eyesight is so bad, actually. It says if you had to choose to do anything for a day, what, what, what would it be? Oh, guys. Anything. I'd want to be a billionaire, guys. Catch flights. Or, okay. I feel like for, for like this situation to benefit me long term, I'd really choose to like learn a skill that's going to make me rich. That's what I would want to do for a day. Learn a skill. That's gonna make me rich. Cause guys, we are obsessed with money. I'm not gonna lie. Like, that's why I'm not married. Say my age, I could have been married a long time ago. But it's, but people that want me, money, they not. And I'm not a gold digger. You understand? That's another reason why, like. I isolate myself a lot when I don't have money because I don't want to be surrounded by people like I love surrounding myself with people that have money so I don't want to be a part of a group or a function where I don't have money but I know people that have money I don't know that, if that makes sense you know because I'm not well spoken by the way that's another thing you should know about me an interesting fact about me I'm not well spoken like I really can't elaborate what I want to say you know I feel like my face is just always self-explanatory, you know? If you are going to ask me, do you love me? So I'm gonna be like, oh, you know? Can't explain that, yeah, I do, because you do this for me. Even people that text me know that. Me, you can text me paragraphs on paragraphs on paragraphs. You see, I'll reply in short text like this. Short text like this, two sentences and that's it, you know? So yeah, this is the second last question, guys. Mm. If you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Wings. See this? Wings, guys. But not just any meal, but hot wings. And they shouldn't be crispy. Like, I got wings from like Burger King. Not these ones. These ones are the crispy ones. These like the meaty ones. Okay, they all have meat. I don't know how to explain it. But you get me. You know what I'm talking about. So. Or like a seafood boil those two rings or seafood boil mm. yeah see those rings they also sell them at spur spur rings with that like jerky sauce or whatever they call it so mm. guys i could eat them for eternal life eternal life because i like hot things so as you can see, I'm crunching on the bone. So make, make me do last question. Let's just read the last question. Mm. Okay, the last question is, do you like or dislike surprises? Honestly, if it's anything nice, me, I like anything nice. So if it's a surprise, then I'm probably going to like it. But I don't like surprises where it is now. Let's say I'm doing something bad and I need to find out. That's also considered a surprise, right? I don't like that. I really don't like that. But if it's if you're like planning like a birthday, you want that for me, or an anniversary wedding, we're team, that's that's when we're finished. I'm literally I'm posting the situation, but yeah. 
So yeah, I do have surprises. And yeah. I do love surprises. Okay guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much to all the people that have been returning to the channel and watching all the videos that I post. Thank you so much for the subscribers that have subscribed. If you did not subscribe, press the subscribe button and the notification button also so that whenever I post, you can see that. See my girl, she came back. Without saying anything more, thank you so, so much for watching and until next time, I got too many hoes But I ain't you Like to put that shit in your door